Hi guys, welcome to Cannonall Farm. Farmer Darrell here, and we're in the pony pen. And uh, Dan, the farrier, is here to have a look at all our Shetlands feet. He's going to be doing the Shetlands and the donkeys, actually. Uh, this young mare here is uh, Pony Hadley's mum. Uh, you may have met Pony Hadley through Channel 5, of course, so uh, he's becoming a bit of a celebrity. Uh, but Pony's mum is uh, his first up for the feet being done today. So you do horses are all shapes and sizes, Dan. Do the smaller they're easy, is that how it works? Or? Uh, not always. I don't mind doing little ones because I'm only short myself. I'm a full 5.7 inches. Um, so, you know, taller lads struggle to get down sometimes with little ones, but I'm all right. I'm, I'm quite flexible and like I say, I've only got little legs, so I, uh, I don't mind doing them, but yeah. I suppose, you know, some uh, some farriers pre prefer some, you know, types and others prefer others. It just depends, really. I don't mind. Um, I won't want to be doing shires every day, I must say, because I'm just, you know, I'm not built for it. I don't know if anybody's built for it, to be fair, but if a shire doesn't stand still, there's not a lot you, can't, you can do about it, you know. Whereas, you can um, enforce yourself a little bit on a, on a Shetland, you might say. And uh, but Shetlands are, are really strong as well. I mean, you know, I've wrestled a few, and uh, they are very, very strong animals. You know, so yeah. There you go. Oh, uh, that never went any further. <laughs> All right then, guys. So Dan's just finishing up here with Pebbles, one of our mares. But now for the big job, we're going uh, to one of our farm celebrities. It's John Bond Pony's turn. And we've got to be careful with this one, does he? Star at show, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, top pedicure for top man, really. Uh, John Bond Pony. He's, uh, he's behaving fairly well, though. Um, obviously, most of you who've seen John lately might have realised that he's been trying to rediscover a bit of vigour. Uh, well, he seems, to, he seems to be coming along nicely. Just got to uh, follow it on Instagram. Is uh, Barry in a young man's game then? Is it something you can do forever? Uh, I'd like to think not. Um, I'm 35 now. I've been. I was. I kind of late to game, I suppose, because I'm a 19 when I started. But yeah, I. Uh, I've got a 10-year plan, and then I want to be slowing down. I don't want to be 60 and still trimming Shetlands. Or maybe I would still trim Shetlands and not do anything else. Not do any shires when I'm 60. Um, and I've, uh, I've got another little business that uh, I bought a while ago with my brother um, and we do uh, interior lighting and, uh, and curtain poles all blacksmith made. So it's kind of, you know, a transition from uh, farriery using the same skills um, as that. So, yeah. <laughs> Like, have you picked up many injuries in your time? Or is it, um, is it, I think it's a job that people see as being dangerous. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> Touch wood. That I've not had anything too serious. Um, mainly, like, cuts to your hands and things like that have been my most serious things. I mean, I've heard some horrific, you know, stories of, um, you know, lads being fractured skulls and broken legs and stuff like that. But you can never, like, be complacent about working with animals full stop I don't think you know you guys working on the farm or me working with horses you've always got to be like constantly I suppose risk assessing you're always looking for danger and what can happen and giving yourself enough room to get out of the way and um, not you know getting put into a situation where you think this is dangerous and I think if you're always like that I mean accidents happen no matter what you know but if you're always kind of on your guard and um, sort of uh, thinking about the horse as well obviously their welfare is you know, the most important thing, but you've got to think about your own. So, yeah, accidents do happen. It is a dangerous job, but to which would, like I say, um, I've not had anything too serious. So. Well, then, guys, so a massive thanks to Dan the Farrier. He's been a sort of all our Shetlands out today for us. Uh, John Bond being the last one of them, so he's going to go back to his lady friend right now. <laughs> 